<laughs> Loosen them. <laughs> yeah, but... Morning, guys. We're with Chris today. <laughs> we are off to a... Pay and play. Yeah, pay and play um, site, not too far away from us. We've never been there before. Um, we are doing a behind the scenes documentary style video of someone else's video being made. Um, basically, Chris has been uh, asked to take part in a comparison video yeah. with, what's it, a Discovery? It's a Discovery D3. It's been yeah. modified, but. Yeah. So, yeah, modified Discovery 3 against Chris's. Uh, modified Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. I mean, mildly modified. You've got a suspension Just lift and lift, yeah. 35s. So we don't really know what the modifications are on the Discovery yet. We've never, we're not sure which vehicle it is yet. <laughs> but yeah, we'll uh, see you guys in a bit. Truly amazed. Well, you brought your own coffee and food. Well, that, but wait till you see my coffee setup. Our friend Chris was invited to take part in a comparison video. We decided to tag along and film some behind the scenes footage. We hope you enjoy seeing what goes into making a video in these muddy conditions. I've been ticking away, got you. Yeah. Okay. Should we go for it? Yeah, yeah. Hi everyone, we're here today at Silverdale with Chris meeting up to see how is the comparison between the good old D3 and the Jeep Wrangler. Rubicon. Rubicon, it's not Rubicon. any old Wrangler, it's no, no, no. a Rubicon. Rubicon, yeah. So, which engine's in that, Chris? That's a standard one is, yeah, standard one's quite high anyway. This is about an extra two and a half inches. So, um, so at the factory it comes with a plastic bumper on, which is sticks out about two foot, so that's like an aluminium stubby bumper. Yeah. That's the whole point to just... I assume with the Rubicon, has it got the automatic sway bar yeah, switch well, it's off? Yeah, it's electric, switch, switch it on and off. Yeah. As well, I assume we're like in the mud yes. on the side somewhere, but I'm pretty sure you're <laughs> going to sort of beat us in, even beat uh, the... Um... So this is B-roll getting B-roll. <laughs> I'm losing, I'm losing against the mud. <laughs> We're going to do a bit about the lights and the protection as well. Yeah, do you want to move your mic slightly up a little bit? Slightly. Ready then, half? <laughs> and hey, Chris, one of these uh, lights as well, they look um, pretty fancy. The rock slide is on this, so obviously a lot closer in than I'd normally expect to see. I mean, mine are, mine are pretty... It's probably no, no mud on it. Maybe, yeah, as you can see the... Oh yeah, AEV, they got the 265, so obviously you beat me a bit on the width there. <laughs> oh, that's fancy. After almost losing our wellies to the mud several times during the day, it was time to line up for the thumbnail photo. After the photo shoot, we move out of the way to allow Matt and Harvey to film the closeout for their video. I didn't think about it. No. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know what's going on because I don't normally talk on camera. What's going on? Well, yeah. this video's been about you. I don't normally talk on camera. What has this video been about? I don't know. Getting muddy boots. A very oh, short yeah. video. About, um, about you making a video? Yeah, video about making a video. Yeah. About... Can you stand this side? I'm making it feel small. 
<laughs> so yeah, that was it. I'll go in the hole. Short and sweet. Um, video about a video being made um, by the guys at JT, and we'll link in the description below and above if we can. Um, did you enjoy it? Yeah, it's good fun in the end. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of the discovery? That's pretty good. Yeah. Interesting seeing it get stuck Apart from being yeah, stuck. But it's only the ones. <laughs> Interesting seeing the winching bit, but yeah. The ones, but yeah. I think nice, it's, it's good, nice wheel lift though. It was a very yeah. nice wheel We're looking lift. over here because... Yeah. Thank <laughs> 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 the yeah, I, I think it did really well um, for a, a big heavy thing. Yeah, it's um, quite capable. Definitely won the wheel lift challenge. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. I think a lot of it is down to the tyres. You've got to have mud tyres for this sort of environment. And most people that are struggling haven't got mud tyres. So. Save it all we need, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway guys, hope you like the video and we'll see you in the next one. See ya! <laughs>